When light hits a flat surface, it will bounce in the opposite direction. If a surface is curved, that means the light will reflect in different directions depending on where it strikes. The angle of reflection depends on the direction of the surface. If you draw arrows in the direction that the surface is facing, we call these normals. They are used in shaders to show the amount of light reflected on different points. So for flat faces, the normals point out from the face. Perfectly curved objects would have normals pointing outward radially. But for real-time rendering, we want to use as little faces as possible. That's where smooth shading comes in. This is a trick where the normal directions of each face are averaged on the corners and then interpolated, creating the illusion of a curved surface. But what if we want to combine flat and curved surfaces? For instance, having a flat surface with rounded edges. You can see that when you only shade the middle face flat, there will be a hard edge before the curve. To solve this problem, you can create extra edges near the outsides of the flat area. Now the middle face has the same direction as the ones next to it, giving smooth shading the same normals as flat shading, and the flat surface nicely blends into the curved. Let's look at this in practice. We'll use Blender here, but the same principle goes for any 3D modeling application. If we put a bevel on this cube with some segments, you can see that this is flat shading. And then when you shade smooth, the corners work nicely, but the side doesn't look like it's supposed to. It looks curved. If we shade the sides flat, you can see here that you get this hard edge that we talked about. A simple but not perfect way to fix this is to scale all the flat surfaces down while extruding. You see here that the hard edges are gone, but it doesn't look exactly right yet. This might be enough for your application, but let's look at a way to do it even better. We're creating a hollow box here. If you want to see how it's made, you can watch this part at lower speed. There are already some subdivisions here, but they are only on the outside, so we'll remove them for now. And then we'll subdivide all the edges where we want that extra subdivision. By selecting both new edge loops and scaling them, we get a nice spacing. We'll repeat this process for both other directions that need extra edges. Now here's our hollow cube with some extra edges. We'll now select all the edges that we want to bevel. And now if we bevel these, you can see that because of the extra edges, we can simply use smooth shading and the sides will shade perfectly flat.